So this is a few hundred meters downstream of my previous photos. It's the bottom edge of Bob Katsumati Park. You can tell that the water has definitely come up in the last few days and done some overland flow here. The park here is very, very low and is, you know, that's why it's a park. Look at it all go, look at all these little rivulets. So we're now at the very downstream section of the park where Kedron Brook meets one of many, many, many watercourses named Cedar Creek. So this is Kedron Brook here. And up here is definitely flooded and you can tell that the bulk of the water actually comes from the other creek and flash floods. So here's Ketron Brook. There's a, a very cool little platform formed by this tree here. All the roots just holding this little bit of land together. And here you have that other body of water. Which is still flowing, which seems to be flowing a lot faster with more volume than the brook is. So, in my experience, the brook sticks around for a lot longer. The brook mostly drains state forest, whereas this drains Upper Kedron, which is more cleared and there's more houses in its catchment. So let's play not fall in here. And again, there's the combined watercourse, which is pretty hefty. So this is up near the Sanford Road Bridge over Cedar Creek. And yeah, this one is really going. And right now, don't fall in there. Bad move. You can see how far up about a metre, if not more, that the water's come recently because all of this grass here, the blades are bent. And up here, this is the start of the bridge that Sanford Road takes over Cedar Creek. And it lends credence to my suggestion earlier that Cedar Creek floods a lot harder, a lot faster than Kevin Brook does, because this is a lot bigger than the Kevin Brook Bridge. There's also the small matter, of course, that this bridge is much closer to the intersection of the two creeks, so the water tends to back up more through here, I guess. Anyway, let's go across that bridge and See you on the other side of the creek. So we're back on the far side. You can tell this grass here is just a little bit of an angle suggesting that there has been overland flow through here. This is the overflow for Cedar Creek. And here we are. It's the confluence from the other side. There's the Cedar Creek here. It's got a Bit of a pool forming. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that backwater. Absolutely racing past the tree here. Good job tree, holding it all together. I don't know if all the stuff in that second tree is from this flood, but if so, wowie. Just to show what even just, you know, one meter of, of creek level rise can do. Two meters floods all of here. And 
three meters. Oh wow. Three meters is yeah. Up to my head height on this tree here. But yeah, it's definitely broken the banks here in the last couple of days. And oh this is cool. Check this out. Look at that. So that's where the waters join. And it really does demonstrate the difference that I was talking about earlier in where the water comes from, from these two creeks. Kedron Brook, mostly drains forest. I guess there's, you know, a lot of leaf litter and stuff in that. Cedar Creek, mostly drains cleared areas. They're still building housing developments in that catchment, so you know, there's lots of opportunities for silt. And you can tell in the watercolours, Cedar Creek is full of silt. Kedron Brook is, well, it's dark and murky, but it's a lot clearer than Cedar Creek is. And it also, to an extent, demonstrates the relative amounts of water that each are contributing. Cedar Creek is sort of pushing Kedron Brook out through that little section there. But it evens up a little bit, I guess. Maybe there's a, something going on. And then, as of, you know, here or so, it starts getting a little bit too murky to tell. I'm not sure if I can get through here without you know, completely squatching my feet, but I'll give it a go. Fuck off, mosquito. And yeah, this is a legit water course. If it wasn't only because it flooded, you could probably canoe down here. As it is, I really, really wouldn't. And at this point we hit the golf course, so this is probably where I have to stop. I like trains. So yeah, this has been Cedar Creek and Kedron Brook more importantly, but you know, by volume it's Cedar Creek really. And this is the upper part of the catchment. 